Helicopter once. Seriously? How was it? Actually, I barfed all over the cockpit. Oh, <laughs> you wimp. Well, I had too much to eat that night. And you save it, to... save it. Get in the boat. <laughs> Where's the castle, bud? It's in a cove on the other side of the lake. What? No. I'll let you later. Guys, I don't think we should do this. He speaks. I don't believe it. Huh, I only thought he spoke Braille. Yeah. First thing the counselor said was not to go over there. He said it might be dangerous. The only danger is that we're going to have a little fun. That's why our parents sent us to this camp, to have fun. Yeah, maybe we can find a buried treasure. You geek, there is no such thing as buried treasure. You watch too much movies. Guys, we're gonna get in a lot of trouble. Guys, we're going to get in a lot of trouble. Come on, Mike. You can't get with it. Maybe you should have gone to the kitty camp. Then you could see your mommy. Okay, okay. come this far, so we might as well. Rusty, what's the matter? What is it? Gee whiz! Look, spooky! This area is strictly off limits. What are you kids doing here? You know you could have been shot. 
Thanks, officer. I'll take a moment. All right. You know, I would, I, I would really like to know what you guys were thinking. I told you specifically not to come here. This is government property. You are off limits. I'm, I'm really disappointed in you guys. Look, it's not like we broke the law or anything. You did. You trespassed here. But more important than that, you guys broke my trust. I told you not to come here, and I expected you to obey that. Look, it's dangerous here, and I don't make these rules for my health. I make them to protect you, because I care about you. Because I don't want to see you guys get hurt. Talk about it tomorrow. Get in. What do you say to you? I thought he was going to bite my head off. I bet you cried. I did not. Did he say he was going to call your mom? If he calls my mom, I'll be grounded until I'm 30. He's not going to call anybody's mom. Don't make him look bad. He was supposed to be watching us. You shouldn't have done it. It was fun, wasn't it? You almost got us killed. No big deal. No big deal? I almost wet my pants. You're nuts. You know that? Look, if you guys think what I planned for last night was something, guess what I've got for that night? Wow. What do you mean? Pie, toad face. I took a couple of joints for my brother when I left, and tonight we'll light him up. And some of the girls from the other tent, they'll be there, too. I don't know, bud. Count me out. What's the matter, Mike? What are you afraid of this time? The pot or the girls? I don't know. I mean, drugs. Look, I thought you guys were cool. I'm not asking you to shoot up or anything. It's only pot. You're acting like kids. I thought we were a team. I thought we had something. I guess I was wrong about you guys. I'll just have to tell the girls, you can't make it. Okay, okay, bud, I'm in. If Rusty's in, I'm in. All right. Hi, Doug. What you doing? Oh, hey, Mike. I'm looking for some firewood for tonight's bonfire. Come on, give me a hand. Sure. Tire up right here. Okay. You know, that was some stunt you guys pulled last night. Could have been killed. The reason I came here was to apologize. That's okay. You were way out of line, but I think you learned your lesson. Yeah. So what else is going on? Anything I can help you with? Well, just suppose. Let's pretend we're in this situation. And some friend of yours wanted you to do something that you didn't want to do. Maybe it's bad or maybe not. What would you do? Well, it depends. Well, let's say these friends were putting a lot of pressure on you to do this thing that we're making up. Okay. Let's make up a situation. Suppose these friends of yours are trying to get you to try drugs. That's a tough one. Actually, it's not. Just say no. That's it? That's it. Listen, drugs are nothing to fool around with. They're illegal, they're wrong, and they're extremely dangerous. They can kill you. You mean they can kill junkies? People who are hooked? No. People trying for the first time can sometimes lose their lives. You don't always get a second chance. Friends put a lot of pressure on you. Look, anybody who gets you to try something illegal or do something that potentially could hurt you, 
That's no friend, if you ask me. Look, people know when things are wrong. Can't you feel it in here? Can't you? You got to listen to your own inner feelings, Mike. But it's not always that easy. Of course it isn't. Some people will try to get you to change your mind. Go around the other side and you hop up. Some people will call you names. But sometimes you just got to walk away. You got to say no. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind if the situation ever comes up. But I'm sure it won't. Okay, Mike, I'm sure it won't. Thanks. Okay. But if it does, just say no. See you, kiddo. It's your turn. Yeah, we did it. Come on, Mike. That's what we're here for, isn't it? You've got to. Don't chicken out. You said you would do it. No. Wait a minute. What do you mean, no? I mean, no. No, period. I don't believe this. I thought you were a friend. I am your friend. But friends don't force friends to do something they don't want to. Besides, it's illegal and dangerous. You wimp! This isn't dangerous! Oh, yeah. That's what you said about last night. And you almost got a shot. I'm going to the bonfire. We're just having fun. Fun? Hiding in here with that smelly thing? Smoking up the place? Scared to death? Praying you don't get caught? That's not what I call fun. You're just a chicken. No guts. Who's got guts, bud? Saying no to you and your drugs takes guts. It's stupid to sneak around like this. It feels really good to say no. I'm going to the bonfire. I'd like you guys to come with me, but that's up to you. Mike's right. This is kind of stupid. Yeah, bud. Maybe he's right. I'm not really into this. Yeah, I'm going to the bonfire with everybody else. Bud, you coming with us? Go on without me. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. You know, it takes a lot of courage and a lot of guts to go against the crowd. But in the end, it comes down to saying just one word. No. Because that's all you have to say. You don't have to make any apologies. You don't have to make any excuses. Because drugs are wrong. They're against the law. And they can even be deadly. So please, try to remember just two things. First. Try as best you can to stay away from people who use drugs and from places or parties where drugs are, you know, likely to show up. You just don't need to put yourself in that kind of pressure situation. And second, if you find yourself in that situation where drugs are being forced on you, just say no and walk away. That's all you have to do. No. No.